In this video, I will get into the details of using the additive oscillator. The additive oscillator offers a bunch of wavetables we have compiled here at Together Audio using additive synthesis, which you can choose from the default content dropdown, starting with the default wave shapes such as sine, square, sawtooth, with different variations on the topic, but also waves. Uh, resembling real instruments, for example, like electric bass. You have to be aware that the amp envelope plays a crucial role in the recognition of the sound you want to synthesize. For example, if you want an organ, keys and organ, you'll be after a sustained sound. But if you want a percussive instrument like uh, vibes, we'll go into percussion and vibes. This may not sound like vibes at the moment, but if you modify the amplitude, it sounds more like you what you're after. Of course, uh, feel free to experiment. For example, use uh, a timpani waveform to create a pad. But you are not stuck with only the waveforms uh, we have uh, compiled. You can modify them. For example, let's get back to the, the sine wave. You can drag around, notice that you have to wait a second for the waveform to recompile after each edit. And remember, the more sharp edges you get on your waveform, the more high, harm high harmonics in the sound. You can also change the waveform using the modifier keys. Let's get back uh, to the sine wave. And with the command on Mac or Control on Windows, you can clip the waveform. Notice that the waveform gets normalized after each edit, preventing uh, uh, from the waveform getting too quiet after editing. So now I have effectively changed the sine wave into a square wave. And the other modifier key you might want to use is shift, which will repeat the whole waveform start, starting from the right of the cursor. So if we choose a sawtooth, it repeats the sawtooth from here. Now we have two edges, and we have the two edges repeated, overlaying with the original waveform. If you come up with something you like, you can save it, right click here, name it Sauce, and you can save it. And now in the user presets, you have your saved waveform. So feel free to experiment with this and make some waves. Bye. <laughs>